Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about ballistic glass and target hardening. All right, I'm Mike Witt and we're gonna talk about ballistic glass and target hardening, kind of following along the series that we're producing for our website, blog content that hopefully gives you good educational material to help you make better decisions, whether it's security or force protection. So with ballistic glass, the goal is to guard and protect against critical assets, right? Whether it is personnel, your family, your company, right? Anything that we want to protect from outside threats, um, typically ballistic glass is one of the first things that's going to be brought into target hardening. So for obvious reasons, it's going to give you the added protection of protecting against ballistic threats, whether it's pistol or rifle. There's specialty glasses that are designed to prevent penetration from impacts of bats, rocks, things like that, that are gonna give you added protection. And also, you know, just the added benefit of possible lower insurance rates. A lot of things you can do to upgrade your facility will give you benefit on the back end, even with insurance premiums. But at the end of the day, what it's gonna give you, it's gonna give you the ability to stop, deter, and delay an attack. And that's kind of one of the biggest things you wanna do is first have that deterrence. So if you make yourself a hard target, if you show those signs that you do have the capacity to withstand an assault, an attack, that's step one. Step two is should that event occur, you have the ability to create delay to allow first responders or military, depending on your application, to respond to that incident. People are gonna go through the path of least resistance. So typically, if someone's going to um, conduct an assault, right? whether it's an active shooter um, or someone that's looking to do harm to those in your facility, uh, windows and doors are usually gonna be the first thing that they're gonna go to. So if they start opening, opening fire on um, a door, a window, and they see that it is ballistic resistant, then you're gonna force them, right? You're gonna create that delay to force them in another direction and, uh, and hopefully put them down an avenue or a path that creates enough delay for you to get out uh, safely and have first responders there in time. And another good point is not only lower insurance premiums, right, but it is a value add to whatever building um, that uh, you're upgrading, right? So whether it's a storefront, whether it's a hospital, um, there's a lot of different scenarios in which ballistic glass and target hardening can be, um, can be deployed to keep people safe. So at the end of the day, though, you are adding value to your infrastructure. Yes, you are protecting your people, which is the most important, but you are adding value and hopefully, like I said, um, gonna have an impact on your insurance premium rates. So a lot of places where you can see um, a great added benefit for ballistic glass are some of the things that unfortunately make the news all too frequently, whether it's workplace shootings, school shootings, um, or violence within you know, the healthcare system, right? So those are pretty um, uh, you know, upfront uh, places where people need to think about deploying uh, ballistic glass and target hardening solutions. Um, gun violence is unfortunately um, an ever increasing issue in this country and so people are need to proactively and have been proactively taking steps to help mitigate against gun violence in America. So whether you're a storefront um, or you're a school, a hospital, again all of these things it's critical to be proactive in doing this because all too often we do see um, large parts of the community being retroactive um, or reactive to, to deploying these kinds of things. If you have the forethought, you have the budget, I highly recommend you at least taking the time to sit down with a consultant to see what can really be offered to you because there are a bunch of different options out there. It's not just a one size fits all application. So typically, ballistic glass is rated. There's really two common um, measurements of performance on ballistic glass. You have the NIJ standard, as well as the UL752 standard, and those standards range all the way from different shot counts and velocities and calibers from pistol rounds all the way up to heavy rifle rounds at high velocity. Um, so there's a, there, there's a wide spectrum of protection that you can get for your facility, and you can scope it to, uh, to build around and defend against a particular threat that you're most concerned about. And also on the pricing side, so typically if you go out there you will see pricing range anywhere from $80 exceeding $200 a square foot for ballistic glass. Again, a lot of that depends on the type of protection and the rating that you're looking to achieve. There are also a variety of ways to install and deploy that ballistic glass. So um, hopefully here in the future we'll do another segment specifically on how um, glass installation is done, whether it's a 
a complete replacement or a retrofit in place, right? So there's a bunch of different ways to do it. So we'll be happy to cover that in the future. Um, for now, um, that's everything I have for you on Ballista Glass. Um, actually, as you can see behind me, this is one of our retrofit kits right here that gets installed. So we'll do a whole nother segment on that in the future. Um, and I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you need anything, reach out to us on our website and we'll be happy to get you in touch with a consultant on Ballista Glass. Once again, Mike Witt with Contact Industries and we hope to see you in the next video.